Hi everyone, welcome to Conversion Conversations. This is Cameron, and today's video is going to be really quick. Uh, I was intending to have a stickering video for you guys to check out today. Uh, that didn't happen, my schedule's just been shot this week. So instead, I thought I'd just hop on the hype train and kind of talk about what I'm excited for in 2020. Uh, next week, February 22nd, the uh, New York Toy Fair starts. And I think that is when we're going to get a bunch of announcements for the new Transformers lines. Um, right now, we've got, you know, some stuff that we, we know about in Earthrise, but it's really just the first wave. So I'm excited to see kind of what's coming up in wave two for Earthrise. I still haven't seen any of wave one locally, but I know uh, in general for new toys it, where I live, it doesn't tend to happen until March or so is when... Um, shelves get restocked. I'm also really excited to see what happens in Cyberverse before I get into kind of my top five toys that I'm excited for this year. Um, we just saw Rack and Ruin, but I wanted to give a special shout out to some new characters that we're seeing in Cyberverse. Meteor Fire, uh, Wild Wheel, which looks like an awesome toy or, or an awesome character design that we're probably not going to get a toy of just because of how hard that might be to make a toy with his cool little like robot poncho. Iaconis, which is another really, really cool looking character design. I just, I love that design. I wonder if we're gonna see a version of the Knights of Cybertron in the Cyberverse Adventures show. And then Hammerbite, which we have seen a toy of. I just wanted to give a shout out to some of the new characters before I dive into kind of what my favorite five toys uh, as of right now are gonna be in 2020. Uh, I'm hoping it changes as we see more exciting stuff. Uh, at Toy Fair, but before it happens, right now, uh, from number five to number one, the first one that's on my list that I'm excited to pick up is going to be the Battle Squad, the Siege Micromasters. I know these guys are already out and a lot of people already have them. I haven't found a set locally yet, uh, but I, I just like duo cons. I like the, the, the combining Micromasters. Um, so I'm really excited to get these guys and then hopefully see more versions of the combining Micromasters in Earthrise. At number four for me, it's Grapple. I've never had a Grapple toy. I, this was higher up on the list for me until recently. I saw a comparison. I think Kato um, did a video and he showed this grapple versus the universe grapple which i have universe inferno and it now to me it looks like for voyager and maybe grapples a little on the small side which is unfortunate um but it, he still looks like a great toy in hand so i'm still pretty excited to pick him up and just having an inferno and a fire uh, art fire and a road hauler and no grapple in my collection has always been a weird feeling so i'm really excited to pick up a new mold and have grapple in my collection at number three, it's the Seacons. Uh, I've already got, I've had my pre-order in uh, forever at Hasbro Pulse uh, since the, the day they announced him. I know they're delayed right now, uh, so I, I don't have any yet, but I'm super excited for these guys. I love the Combiner Wars uh, combining peg gimmick. Um, I'm excited to get these guys on my shelf and represented. I've been very tempted by some of the third-party Seacons in the past, but I really want to wait out for these guys and be able to mix and match because I really love the Scramble City playstyle. And then uh, next one is Ruckus. This is number two. Um, or sorry, I said Ruckus, but I meant Rack and Ruin. Uh, he just popped up on toy shelves um, in the UK just randomly. Uh, he looks great. I love this character design. I think Rack and Ruin is a really funny side character in Transformers Cyberverse. Uh, I think hopefully he's not going to be marred too much by his, his uh, Energon armor gimmick. Clobber is another of the Energon armor toys that I'm probably going to pick up. She didn't quite make the list. Um, but Rack and Ruin seems really cool. I just, I love the idea of finally having him in my Wrecker's shelf. And I love the interpretation Cyberverse did with the character. I really like that character's design. And then number one, if you know me at all, you know which one it is. It is Masterpiece Tigatron. I am super excited about this guy. I really was assuming that he would be a remold of uh, Cheetor. I knew in the show he was bigger, but I was like, are they really gonna spend the money to do a whole new mold for Tigatron, and they do. They absolutely do. 
Uh, I know he's going to be expensive. It sounds like he's going to be 200 ish dollars uh, at retail. I'm hoping picking him up off Amazon Japan gets me in the 180 range. But I don't care. I, I got to have this guy. I never had a Tigatron when I was little. My best friend all had a, a Tigatron, and I thought it was the coolest toy. I love uh, his look. He captures his design from the show so well. It's just super exciting. Um, I... I I'm just can't wait to get him in hand. I can't imagine another toy that's announced this year takes the number one spot for me. Uh, I'm sure the other four positions probably shuffle around as new stuff's announced, but this guy is locked in at number one, I feel. He looks great. I'm super excited to have him. Uh, another one for my Beast Wars masterpiece shelf. And then uh, we'll see what happens next. So super quick video today, guys. Thanks for watching and have a great day. See ya.